Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem SE01. This one is going to test your ability to connect the pieces of the shareholders equity section of the balance sheet. So let's take a look. Here I give you select stockholders equity information from a company's balance sheet. Notice that information con contains info about common stock, preferred stock, APIC, treasury stock, and retained earnings. And I give you five questions to try to identify based on the given information. So take a moment, pause the video, see if you can do these five questions on your own. When you're ready, come on back and I'll walk through them. All right, welcome back. So I'm just gonna take these questions in the order that they appear here. First up, what is the par value of the common stock of the company? Well, notice here that we have a line in our given information, common stock, 500,000 shares issued for $1 million. If you know how accounting for common stock works, you know that the actual common stock account, what we have listed here, only contains the money that's attributable to its par or stated value. So in this case, we have $1 million attributed to par value for half a million shares of common stock that means the par value of that stock is 1 million divided by 500,000 shares issued or $2 per share. All right, next up, what was the total cash received upon issuance of the preferred stock? Now, you notice we have a line here that says preferred stock. It gives you information about the par value and the shares issued, but it gives you question marks for what that total value is. Now, just like the common stock, we know that the amount that you record toward it is attributable to the par value. The same applies to preferred stock. So we know that there are 10,000 shares issued. We know that it has a $10 par value. Therefore, the amount attributable to this preferred stock account must be 10,000 times 10 or $100,000. But that isn't the answer to our question because our question said, what was the total cash received upon issuance of the preferred stock? This is what we received related to the par value of the preferred stock. We would have also received the APIC related to the preferred stock. Therefore, the total cash received is the combination of these two or $350 thousand dollars. So we've got the 100,000 par plus the 250 APIC equals 350,000 total cash received. All right, next up, how many shares of common stock are outstanding? Notice here it told us that the common stock has 500,000 shares issued. Issued simply means that it was given to the investors at some point it doesn't mean the investors are still holding on to it. That's what outstanding means, that investors are still holding on to it. So how are we going to figure out how much investors still have? Well, there's only one of two things that can happen to the issued stock, and that is either the investors have it or the company has it because the company bought it back. And so if we look down here, we see treasury stock, 10,000 common shares. That indicates the amount of the issued stock that the company has bought back, which means anything other than that is still in the hands of investors. So in this case, we have the 500,000 issued minus the 10,000 that are in the treasury. Therefore, 490,000 shares are still outstanding. All right, next up, what is the price per share of treasury stock? Well, treasury stock, when you buy it back from investors, you essentially give it a new par value. You reset the par value of that stock at whatever you paid for it. So even though these are common shares, they are not anymore at a par value of $2 per share. They are at a par value of whatever we paid to obtain them from the market. Notice we paid $15,000 to get them. We paid 15,000 for 10,000 shares. Therefore, we paid, I'm gonna do this one down here, 15,000 paid over 10,000 TS shares. 
we paid $1.50 per share. And that is the new par value of that treasury stock. All right, last one. What is the value of total shareholders' equity? Well, all of these accounts are in the shareholders' equity section of the balance sheet, so it's just a matter of adding or subtracting them accordingly. Now, common stock increases your equity, preferred stock increases your equity, additional paid in capital increases your equity, retained earnings increases your equity. However, treasury stock, that is a contra equity that reduces your equity. So I'm going to put parentheses around that one. And we're just going to do a big old subtotal there. And it looks like we have $1 million, $1 million That gets us to $2 million. This gets us to $2,250,000, and then we subtract $15,000 off of that. So we're at $2,200,000, and then not $50,000, but rather $35,000 of total shareholders' equity. And that was our answer to the final one. All right, that's it. I hope this helped you see how all the pieces of shareholders' equity are related, um, how you can solve for missing items should you not have that information. Um, I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.